Okay, so now um, I'm going to explain uh, the software that we use for the projectors. Uh, like I said in the introduction, we do not just project, you know, uh, uh, what do you call these lyrics and the Bible. We don't just project them out of the blues. Uh, we use a software called Holyrics. And like I said, there are many other alternatives. You know, there's free worship, there's easy worship. I think there's also, I forgot, is it make worship or it could be the same thing? Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> but yeah, there should be a make, make worship or something like that. But yeah, uh, what we use though specifically at CPC, as CPC Media, we use what is known as Holyrics. So of course, you go on your browser and you just type Holyrics. And the first thing that comes there is Holyrics. So you click Holyrics. Um, okay, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, but you go and download. Uh, you choose again. If you have Linux, Windows, Mac, you choose what's best for you. So for me, I'm using Windows 64-bit. So I'll click here on download. Again, I will not click because I already have the software. So this is the recommended one, of course. Uh, it's 64 bits, Windows. It suits my machine, so I'm going to download it. If you use Linux, download Linux, which is 250 MB. If you have a Mac, download on Mac, which is 131 MB. So yeah, I think that's all I can say on this part. Um, so I'll go down here. Since I already have all lyrics, I'll click on it. And it's just loading. So as it's loading, let me start off by saying uh, we use this for primarily, pri pri primarily, <laughs> primarily, we use this uh, to beam lyrics, of course, for the praise team. We use it to beam Bible verses when uh, ministers are ministering. Uh, we also use it for announcements, for titles, you know, whatever it is that we want to display. Even a video, we don't want to necessarily limit it to, to lyrics. Of course, it was suited for that, but we can even use videos. Uh, we can do, we can add pictures, whatever it is you want. You can use our lyrics to beam. Um, so before I get started, um, when you are using our lyrics, or rather when you are using um a computer on a projector because in our case we have two projectors in front then the laptop is right there at the back so ordinarily um we don't want to duplicate everything that's here on the projector because you can imagine you turn on your pc everyone can see all these icons here everyone can see holics even before you beam lyrics i already seen them i seen you look for, for for text imagine someone maybe i'm supposed to type something right maybe i'm supposed to type uh an announcement or something like that just literally seeing me typing an announcement <laughs> you get it so that's not ideal that's not ideal so what we do is you press the windows key windows key and p windows key plus p so you press them at the same time then there's this thing which will pop up this window which will pop up at the far right of the screen so it gives you options so there are two options since you have two screens you have the laptop the laptop is connected to the project so you have options you can click pc screen only which is the first one when you click when you eh, click I don't know why my English is going. I think I'm tired. Yeah, but when you click uh, PC screen only, if you click it there, it's going to show you only what's on the PC. Nothing is going to show on the projector. Okay, then the second one is duplicate. When you click duplicate, bah, it's going. whatever is going to show here is also what's going to show on the projector. Exactly what's here. On the screen is exactly what's going to be on the projector so the first one it's only going to project it's only going to show us on the screen but nothing will be showing on the projector and then the third one now this is the one that we use whenever we are looking at projectors whenever we are working with projectors we always use extend don't use duplicate don't use PC screen only and uh, don't use second screen only. If you use second screen only, it means this same thing will only show on the projector. It won't show on the laptop you are working on. So whenever you are using a projector, select extend. 
I wish I could show it visually on the laptop, but I only have one screen. I don't have any cameras, any other cameras. I would have shown you how it looks like. So when you hit extend, it's like you're using one big screen. Okay, you're using one big screen. You're extending the screen. So like in this case, even my case, right? You've seen the way this case is. It can disappear and it goes to the other screen. So I can move my case and the case will move to the project. So to extend, I can put maybe, for instance, another software on one screen, one software here. So I'm extending screen, uh, screen so that I can do more things. So that's what we use. So to avoid people seeing what we're doing in the background. So what you're seeing here, this is this is more like your workstation. This is more like the, the background. This is what you do. Then on the extended screen, that's now what everyone gets to see. So before you start using Holyrix, hit extend. And you win. how do you get this window? You press the Windows button and the letter P. Windows button and letter P at the same time. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, this is Holyrix. This is Holyrix. This is how it looks like. So let's start with lyrics, right? Uh, of course, we already have lyrics here, which we've been, I think we've been over the years, over the, yeah, over the past year, we've been using this to build lyrics and all that. So uh, let's say, for instance, the praise team comes to me and says, oh, uh, gift, uh, we're going to be singing five songs. Uh, maybe we're singing, yes, Jesus loves me. That's the song that they want to sing, right? So it's now on me to say, okay, let me put that. Let me put the lyrics for, yes, Jesus loves me in lyrics. So what I can do is I go on new. Then on new, I click on song. When you click on song, there's this window that appears. Then there's title, artist, not author, copyright. So what you can do is you put a title. So that you can you, you can easily locate it because you're saving it. So you can just say maybe yes, Jesus loves me. This is just the title. Then you come down here now. This this is where now you tap the lyrics. You say okay, yes, Jesus loves me. Space, yes, Jesus loves me. Or you can put X2. Then if you want to give and put a space, you say okay, for the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. Then you hit save. So here, top top left. I'm sure many of you, if you worked with computers, you know this is the save button. So I've saved it already. So here I can search for Yes, Jesus Loves Me. It does now become part of the songs. So when I click here, Yes, Jesus Loves Me, I double click. This is how it's going to project. It's written Yes, Jesus Loves Me. But because, but, but, but if you follow, if you follow the projector, this thing is not supposed to show on your actual laptop. It's going to show on the projector. So you, you will not see this. This is only going to appear on the projector. So when you say, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. You click again, for the Bible tells me so. For the Bible tells me so. 